It's been a busy couple days for the goalposts inside Neyland Stadium. They did not survive the night. Both were quickly lost in that sea of orange as fans, young and old, stormed the field. A moment, 15 years in the making. One of the goalposts made it out of the stadium as Vol fans proudly carried it down Cumberland Avenue. Our East Tennessee Children's Hospital camera caught that march down the strip. Now they eventually made it to the Tennessee River. For some reason, that's where these students have dumped these goalposts. They've done it there a couple of times. All that caught on camera. But we need to know, where did it end up? John Piersos did some digging. thrown into the river and never to be seen again, or so we thought. You know, 30 minutes later, it winds up in the back of our house. The goalpost that was once floating on the Tennessee River is now at the Sigma Chi fraternity house back on campus, or at least part of it is. After the thrilling ending of Saturday night's Tennessee-Alabama game, thousands of fans stormed the field and pulled down the goalpost and tossed part of it into the river. But students say that same upright made it to their frat house. I think there was about 15 guys, I saw a picture of it. They picked that thing out of the river after they threw it in and they just carried it right here. Right into the courtyard of the frat house, the full upright. Naturally, people wanted a souvenir. A random guy came over with a saw and we were just cut it up for a while. Yeah! And so everybody's standing there, get me a piece, get me a piece. And so we formed a huge line out the back. Monsoor estimates they cut it up into about 100 pieces. Some lucky people took home a small sliver of it, but the frat house is keeping a bigger section of it for safekeeping. People have asked us to cut it up and no, no chance. Fuller says they've had offers upwards of $1,000 for the goalpost, but they say it's not for sale. Fuller says they're going to buy a shadow box big enough to hold the post. That way they can display it in the fraternity house for years to come. In Knoxville, John Piersos, WVLT News. Some people did leave Neyland Stadium with chunks of grass as souvenirs. Some are even selling it on eBay for as much as $31 a piece. There was a picture on Twitter a little chunk of, grass. of a woman just shoving it into her purse on the field. New goalposts do go up tomorrow, by the way, inside Neyland, so they'll be ready.